Good morning, traders. John Caruso coming to you here for the morning of February 3rd with your currency outlook for the session. Uh, as we come into this morning, we're seeing a little bit different look than we're used to. Uh, right now, the dollar's down about 55 points, trade 94.17 at the moment. Uh, that is at the low end of the range. The path of least resistance in the dollar is still very much to the upside. So in my opinion, that's how you have to trade it. Uh, we're sitting 94.17. We got some support coming in at 94 and then below. Uh, that level at 93.80. Uh, looking at the euro, we got the euro bouncing uh, uh, adversely to the dollar. We're up 91 points in the euro, trading 114.41 at the moment. Uh, much on the adverse, er, the inverse side of the U.S. dollar, the path of least resistance in the euro is still very much to the downside. So that's the way you have to look at the market. Um, what's driving this move this morning? We've seen a string of poor economic data coming out of the United States. We saw an ISM miss yesterday, slower consumer spending, uh, which is, is kind of creating some of this fear and, and anxiety uh, in the U.S. dollar. Um, that is kind of, cur the, the, the string of economic data is, is somewhat curtailed the idea that we're going to see higher interest rates sooner uh, rather than later. So interest rate talk uh, of higher interest rates here in the United States, it's, it seems to be waning and being pushed back uh, towards the end of the year. Um, looking at some of the foreign currencies, uh, the Australian dollar is the big loser on the morning, down 114 points. We did see a surprise rate cut from the Bank of Australia in the overnight. That surprised traders. That's why uh, we're trading lower at the moment. Uh, looking at the Canadian, uh, the Canadian's catching a much needed breather. Uh, the market's been sliding for the past several weeks. Uh, we are up 30 points on the day. Perhaps uh, one of the, the, the contributing factors is the higher price of energy. Uh, uh, we know historically the Canadian typically tracks the prices of crude oil uh, as well as gasoline prices, and perhaps that's why we're catching a bid right now in the Canadian. The path of least resistance of the Canadian is still very much to the downside. Uh, we got a slow day as far as economic data is concerned. Uh, but we do have an action-packed week looking ahead. Uh, tomorrow, uh, 7.15 Chicago time, we get the ADP employment numbers coming out. They're looking for an increase of 220,000 payrolls from the previous month. Uh, and then, of course, on Friday, we get the big uh, non-farm payrolls uh, number. They're looking for a, uh, an increase of 230,000 jobs uh, from, from the previous month, too. So uh, if you have any questions, concerns, anything I can help you out with, give me a call. My number here is 800-669-5354. Good luck. We'll talk to you soon. Futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk. It may not be suitable for all investors.